This behind me is the Northway Bank here in the town of Plymouth. This is the site of a minor historical event. The building was state-of-the-art when it was built in 1955. It was created to house two financial entities, the Pemigewasset Bank and the Plymouth Savings Bank. There is a wide lobby in the center of the structure. One bank was located on one side and the other on the other side in the lobby. The lobby was co-used by each entity. They had their own consultation spaces and safe deposit rooms, that kind of stuff. There was a director's lounge in the basement and a drive through window, wonder of its time. The banks occupied this space till 1997 when the Pemigewasset Bank joined with the Berlin City Bank to become the Northway Bank. Today there are 16 branches of this bank located all over the state. Now, I noted that the building was created in 1955. 1955 is, you may remember, the year that President Dwight Eisenhower visited New Hampshire and did some fishing. Did some hunting as well with Sherman Adams, his chief of staff. Sherman Adams, of course, had been the governor of the state and a congressman. He was a booster of all things New Hampshire, and the visit of Eisenhower was international news. Every Republican politician wanted to bask in the glow of the great hero of World War II. On their way north through the state, the great delegation of GOP people poured into Plymouth here to have lunch that day. Now, I personally have spoken with most of the guys that were in that contingent. Governor Lane Dwinnell, I knew him, Senator Stiles Bridges, Norris Cotton, Congressman Chester Morrow, Morrow, that is, a Perkins Bass, friend of mine. Of course, Sherman and his wife, Rachel. Now, not incidentally, the town of Plymouth was very proud of his brand new bank and some political persuasion was applied. Would the president consider being the person who officially opened this new bank? Not much time, of course, but yeah. And so it was that Dwight D. Eisenhower, former Supreme Allied Commander of the War in Europe and the 34th President of the United States of America, stepped to the door of the Plymouth Bank and cut the ribbon, officially opening the site to the public. An amazing honor. So, oh, did I ever speak with President Eisenhower? No, I never did. But I did see him in person once in Washington, D.C., back when I was in the Army.